Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection. Uh, today what I'd like to do, I'd like to get started on, on a watch project. Uh, in the past, uh, we made watches with the 6498 and the 6497, which are, uh, they're bigger, they're hand wound, and, and they're great. I, I like them a lot. Uh, but I, I think it'd be, be fun to have one uh, make an automatic watch. Uh, and in addition to having the time in the center seconds rather than small seconds, it would, it would have center seconds plus it would have a date. So let's take a look at uh, what would be involved. This will treat this as step one. We're going to have a number of steps for this uh, particular watch. Um, the, the movement, I think, would be good. I, I, I notice this movement. A lot of uh, really top watchmakers use the ETA 2892A2. These are, are you know, and then they put some kind of complication on it. Now, the ranges and price for watches with this for roughly around $2,000 up to four or $5,000, depending on things in them. Uh, the ETA-2892, the diameter is 25.60 millimeters, and it's 3.6 millimeters high. The price is between about $99 for a clone of one, to about $300. Now, in addition to ETA 2892, ones that have the same dimensions, that's why I mentioned the diameter and height, that were meant to fit in the same place are the Soprod A10, which is based on a Seiko uh, 4L. This is a very nice movement. That was gonna be their uh, high horology movement. Uh, and then the pretty much of a, of a licensed clone of of it is called the Salida SW300-1. Now, finally, uh, a very inexpensive one, a relatively inexpensive one, is the Siegel ST1812. All of these will work, plus, of course, the 2892. The Siegel, um, they're the least expensive, and the Soprod and the ETA2892 itself, are, are they're, they're gonna be a little more expensive, 200 and, and plus. So that would be the first thing if you're going to get one. Now, the whole project, I'm uh, looking at it, it'll be between about $150 and $400, depending on on how much you, you spend on the different parts. Now, uh, we're going to need a case, and, and this is finding a case for the 2892 uh, has, again, a range. Now, I'm going to look at the top of that range, and uh, I found this, uh, this, this one in a German wash shop. It's 39 millimeters, polished and brushed. It's a very nice one. And the, the price, of, including VAT, is 204 euro. And without uh, VAT, which if you get it shipped to the U.S. or some other place out of the uh, uh, EU, uh, it'll be 176 uh, euro, which is about pretty pretty close to 200 bucks. So it's an expensive one. Now you can find ones for under 50 dollars. Uh, that'll do the same thing. They tend to be a little bigger though, so uh, that was why I like this one. They'd be 42, 44 millimeters, and you can find those all over the place. A lot of them on uh, on eBay. Now the final thing uh, is a a dial. Now, the dial is the thing I like about uh, this particular movement the most is that it has center seconds, which means you've got three hands and you put one on, you put the other one on, and put the other one on top of it. Love working with that rather than trying to get a <laughs> the second hand into a small second, which can be a challenge. Uh, now, the, the window is on a disc. I mean, the window for the dates on a disc and it goes around. Uh, you can have it at 3 o'clock, uh, like the white one has, uh, shown at the lower left. Uh, or you can have it at the bottom, like the one, the the uh, dial up at um, in the upper right. And again, the color, you can get all different kinds of color. The size is very important because they have these things called feet, and they have to go on to certain places. Now, some of them, if they don't have feet, they have something else that'll hold it in called dial dots that <laughs> I've used before, but considered to be not the best way to do things. Now, uh, the dial and hands, both in the one in the lower left, this is from uh, Germany, 
they run $39 for the, uh, the dial in hand plus uh, 16 bucks for shipping. So we're talking about $45 for the whole, or well, $55 for the whole package there. So this is, you know, and like I said, they're a lot cheaper ones. Uh, but this is to give you sort of on the upper side of this, a lot less than two or three, four thousand dollars $4,000. So anyway, and it'd be a fun project. So if you're interested, uh, we're going to treat this as step one. All right. And that's identifying sort of the, you know, in a wider sense, what, uh, what you're going to need. Okay. Uh, so that's all for the first one. And until next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Side of the Art and Science of Watch Collection. Oh, and this is an invitation to subscribe if you'd like.